Food or night at 10, how would you like to try food from all over the world without having to leave Twin Falls? Amy Reed joins us now live in the studio to tell us how some people got to do that today. Amy. Thanks, Joe. Today was the Magic Valley Refugee Day at CSI, and they put out a tasty welcome. We wanted a way to give the refugees to give back to the Twin Falls community, and um, what better way than to, everybody loves food, so what a better way to do it. Afghanistan, Sudan, Burma, authentic food from all over the world. It's all really, really good. Served up for free. We're here basically to, to serve the community, and we really feel happy that a lot of people stood up. Wait, this is a great event. Um, we've come over the years, and the food has just been excellent, and the, the entertainment, and the people. It's just a wonderful, wonderful event. But as delicious as this is, the food isn't what it's all about. It's a way to bring refugees and the community together, swapping cultures and swapping stories. Every refugees, they have their own stories. I think it's pretty interesting to talk to the refugees, find out where they come from and how they feel. I think it's very important. The best way to learn about different cultures and different people is to go directly to people who work with them or to the, the people themselves. Remembering that it's the small things in life to be grateful for. Back home I was in a refugee camp where I had to go through a lot of challenges. Uh, I've never had access to electricity or, or flowing water. So it's, a, it's really a great privilege to be here and I'm very proud. Uh, I enjoy every single moment I have here. So I'm very happy and very thankful to all of the community and everybody. Very proud to be here. Today is also the anniversary of France giving the U.S. the Statue of Liberty, which greets immigrants as they come into New York. So it was an appropriate day to have this event. All right.